Hey Divination, thank you for joining us in this tutorial and today I will show you how to effectively use letter spacing to create a stunning result with Divi. So without any further ado, let's get to it. Before we dive into the tutorial, let's take a quick look at what we'll recreate within this tutorial. So we have this stunning design on desktop and I've provided you with two different color palettes that you can apply on this example. And let's take a look at what it looks like uh, on tablet. So this is what you get. And last but not least, this is what you can expect on phone. Now the first thing we're going to do is create a new page, give our page a title, click on publish, and then enable the TV pillar and switch over to visual builder right away. Now we already have a section over here and we're going to start modifying it by opening its settings going to the background subcategory and the first thing we'll add is a gradient background and for that you will need color number one and color number two of your color palette as you can see there are two color palettes so go ahead and choose one and pick color number one and use it as your first gradient color then go back and use color number two as your second gradient background color Then scroll down and change the gradient direction into 160 degrees. And use 53% for the end position. Then move on to the design tab and open the spacing subcategory. And we're going to add a little space at the top and bottom by adding 60 pixels to the top padding and 180 to the bottom. Now we can start adding our first row and for that we'll need one column. And before adding any modules, we're going to open the row settings, move on to the design tab, and we're going to add some space at the bottom of our row by adding 150 pixels to the bottom padding. Then we'll continue by adding our first text module. Just go ahead and enter your first name over here. Then move on to the design tab, open the text subcategory, and use ultra bold as your text font weight. Enable uppercase. And we'll need to adjust our text size according to the screen size. So we'll use 300 pixels for desktop, 210 for tablet, and 125 for phone. Now we'll modify the letter spacing, so we'll bring the letters closer to one another by using minus 20 pixels for desktop and minus 15 pixels for tablet and minus 8 pixels for phone. So you'll need to adjust the letter spacing according to your text size. Then we'll also use one for the text line height and apply a text shadow using the following values for the vertical length and the blur strength. And we'll also adjust the text shadow color into the following color code. And use center text alignment as well. And to change the color, you will need to go back to your color palette and choose color number three and as you can see, this is the result that you get for the first text module. Now we're going to continue by adding another text module right below the text module that you've just created. And we're going to use our last name for this. Then move on to the design tab, open the text subcategory. And use Allura as the text font. Scroll down and use 88 pixels for the text size on desktop. 78 for tablet and 39 for phone. Then use the following color code as your text color and adjust the line height to one and use center text orientation. Now the next thing we're going to do is make it overlap with the previous text module and for that we're going to use minus 200 pixels for the top margin on desktop minus 150 on tablet 
minus 100 on phone. Now we can go ahead and add our last text module for this row and for this text module we're going to use extra letter spacing so go ahead and add a job title or whatever you want to in the content box. Then move on to the design tab, open the text subcategory, enable uppercase. Use 70 pixels for your text size on desktop, 16 pixels for tablet and leave 14 pixels for phone. And again, we're going to make our letter spacing match with the text size. So this is going to be different for each one of the screen sizes. We're using 22 pixels on desktop, 14 for tablet and eight pixels for phone. We'll also enable center text orientation. And for the text color, we'll go back to the color palette and choose color number four. Next, we'll open the spacing subcategory and we'll add 100 pixels to the top margin to create some space between this text module and the previous ones. Now we're going to add a new row using two columns. And before we add any modules, we're going to open the row settings and we're going to use a white background color for our row. Then we'll scroll down and we'll give a slightly gray color to our first column. And the next thing we'll do is equalize column heights within the sizing subcategory of our row. Then we'll open the spacing subcategory and add zero pixels to the top and bottom padding to make sure that there's no space between the columns and the row. And last but not least, we'll add a box shadow using the following blur strength. And the following shadow color. Now we can start adding our modules. We'll start with the first column. We'll add a text module and go ahead and enter some text over here. Then move on to the design tab, open the text subcategory. And for this, we're going to use the same font as we did for the last name. We'll change our text size to 29 pixels. We'll use bold font weight and we'll grab color number five for this text module. Then open the spacing subcategory, so scroll down, open the spacing subcategory, and we're going to add some top margin first. And that will be 250 pixels for desktop and 50 pixels for tablet and phone. And we'll also add 17% to the left margin. And this is for desktop and we'll use 10% for the left margin on tablet and phone. All right, so right below this text module, we're going to add another one and this will contain our title. So go ahead and enter a title. Then move on to the design tab, open the text subcategory and use Adamina as the text font. Use bold as the text font weight, enable uppercase. And we're going to adjust the text size according to the screen size. Then go ahead and grab color number two from your color palette and use it as the text color. Adjust the letter spacing to minus five. And use one for the text line height. Then open the spacing subcategory and we're going to add some left margin, 70% on desktop and again, 10% for tablet and phone. And we'll also add 50 pixels to the bottom for tablet and phone. 
Now we have all our modules for the first column. So we're going to move on to the second one. And the first thing we'll need there is an image module. Go ahead and select an image from your media library. Then move on to the design tab and make sure that this image is not centered on mobile. Scroll down, open the spacing subcategory, and we're going to make this image overlap on desktop. And we'll also push it a little bit to the right using 5% for the left margin on tablet and phone. Next, we'll add a border using 35 pixels for the border width, and we'll use a white border color. And we'll also add a box shadow to this image module with 41 pixels as the blur strength. Right below this image module, go ahead and add your description text module. So enter some text within the content box. Then move on to the design tab, open the text subcategory and change the text size to 15 pixels. Apply the following color code for your text color. Scroll down, use 1.4 as your text line height. Use justify as the text orientation. And open the sizing subcategory and change the width to 70%. Continue by opening the spacing subcategory and add the following custom margin to your text module. And the last module we'll need is a bottom module. So go ahead and enter your button text. Open the alignment subcategory next and use left button alignment. Then continue to the button subcategory and change the button text to 13 pixels. Use a white button text color. Go ahead and grab color number five from your color palette and use it as the background color for your button. Use zero pixels for the border width. And add some extra letter spacing. We're using six pixels. Enable uppercase as well. And then go to the spacing subcategory and we're going to add some extra custom padding to our button just to make it look better than it does at this moment. And we'll also add 50 pixels to the bottom margin of this button and here we have our results. So now that we've gone through all of these steps, let's take a final look at our results. So this is the first color palette, and then this is the second one, and we have the following results on tablet. And this is what it looks like on phone. Well, that was all for this tutorial. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to all our social media channels so you'll get a notification every time we have something new for you. Thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.